All right, here we are, post-trib moment number 47. Again, you're going to hear some really fantastic lies here. Now, those who believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, they try to say that the scripture in Matthew 24 that talks about the trumpet sounding and Jesus coming in the clouds and gathering the elect, they try to say that that's not the rapture. And their proof for that is that it takes place after the tribulation. Of course, we all know that the rapture takes place before the tribulation. Well, we, no, we don't know that. Yeah, because you don't know that because you don't teach it. Because you're a false prophet, you don't understand the Bible. You don't rightly divide the word of truth. Continuing. Because the Bible says in Matthew 24 and elsewhere that the rapture takes place after the tribulation. That it takes place after the tribulation. Of course, we all know that the rapture takes place before the tribulation. Well, we, no, we don't know that. Because now, I want you to hear what he says here. Okay? Listen. The Bible says in Matthew 24 and elsewhere that the rapture takes place after the tribulation. The Bible says in Matthew 24 and other places that the rapture takes place after the tribulation. Rapture, oops, excuse me, rapture takes place after the tribulation. Okay, I just typed that, what he just said there. He said, the Bible says the rapture takes place after the tribulation. Okay, enter. Sorry, no matching verses found KJV. Hmm. Interesting because one of the little games that these type of, type of uh, false prophets will play, they'll say, the word rapture is not found in your King James Bible. Why is he using it then? You see? He just totally lied to you. He said the, the Bible says that the rapture is, you know, happens after the tribulation. No, it doesn't. But let's continue here. But because they don't believe that, they have to say that this is not the rapture. So what they say this is, is they say this is when Jesus Christ comes uh, in glory, they say, in Revelation 19, when Jesus Christ comes at the end of the, of the week, at the end of the tribulation, as they call it. And they say, you know, that's at the end of the seven years. When Jesus Christ comes on the white horse, that's what we're reading about in Matthew 24. Well, here's the problem with that. You will not find anything in Revelation 19 that even remotely resembles what you read in Matthew 24. So okay. You won't find anything in Matthew 24 that lines up with Revelation 19. Well, let's see about that. And I showed this before in another one. Okay. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now look at this. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Speaking of the coming of the Son of Man. Right here. Now there shouldn't be anything in Revelation 19 about the eagles being gathered together with carcasses, should there? And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the great supper of or unto the supper of the great God that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty man and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men both free and bond both small and great oh there's nothing in Matthew 24 that resembles Revelation 19 I just showed you one a good one there okay it's right there and you say he'll go on to say you know that uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 resembles Matthew chapter 24. Compare it to that. Okay. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Could you please show me anywhere in here that talks about eagles being gathered together and the carcass being there? And as I said before, how about this one? The dead in Christ rising first? Let's go to Matthew 24. Sorry. Matthew chapter... 24. Okay. Here you have two in the field, one taken, the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one taken, the other left. 
Uh, where does it say anything about the dead in Christ coming up? It doesn't. And let me show you what's really going on here. This thing of the two taken, the one, you know, two in the field, one taken, the other left. Let me show you what's going on there in actuality. Go to Luke chapter 17. And I've been over this before if you've seen some of the other videos. Okay. And they said, you know, here he's saying about the two women shall be grinding together, one taking the other left, two men in the field, one taking the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? In other words, where are they being taken? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Exactly what happens in Revelation 19. Again, I have documented that he is lying to you.